Lava flow discovered beneath Yellowstone. Is Steamboat Geyser signaling a supervolcano event? And Etna's fury in Italy sparks widespread panic. Yellowstone, the giant breathes. A wave of fear ripples through the scientific community. Today, after an explosive revelation, a massive lava flow has been detected rising beneath Yellowstone National Park, reigniting fears that the planet's most dangerous supervolcano is reactivating. In an urgent press release, the U.S. Geological Survey confirmed that new seismic imaging and thermal sensors have captured a moving front of semi-molten magma slowly, pushing upward beneath the park's northwestern region, specifically below Norris Geyser Basin, home to the world-famous Steamboat Geyser. And then, Steamboat erupted again, violently. Towering jets of superheated water and steam ripped into the sky, terrifying tourists and forcing sudden trail closures. The eruption lasted nearly an hour and was so powerful that nearby ground sensors registered harmonic tremors, the rhythmic shaking typically associated with magma movement. Dr. Alice Renner, lead Yellowstone volcanologist, delivered a chilling assessment on national television. We've identified an active advancing lava flow beneath the upper crust, and Steamboat is now erupting more frequently and more violently. These are not isolated events. These are pressure signals. The underground system is changing. This isn't some harmless steam vent. Steamboat Geyser is directly linked to Yellowstone's vast hydrothermal and magmatic systems. When it erupts with unusual force and frequency, scientists listen. Because it may be the only surface expression of a much more terrifying process. Beneath this week alone, Steamboat has erupted three times, with each blast shaking the forested basin like thunder. Rangers evacuated the upper geyser loop as boiling runoff surged across footpaths and sulfur clouds choked the air. In the latest satellite thermal scan, a hot zone roughly 14 miles wide was seen expanding under the park, brighter, hotter, and closer to the surface than at any time in the past decade. Pressure gauges buried deep beneath the surface show levels approaching redline. Is this the beginning of a chain reaction? If Yellowstone's supervolcano were to erupt, it would blanket the United States in ash, ground air traffic to a halt, disrupt weather worldwide, and potentially kill millions in the blast radius. While such an eruption might still be years or decades away, scientists are no longer dismissing the possibility of early activity. And as one USGS expert put it bluntly, When magma starts moving, time speeds up. Mount Etna, the night sky turns red. Meanwhile, over 5,000 miles away in southern Italy, Mount Etna is erupting with terrifying ferocity, lighting up the Sicilian sky with rivers of lava and thunderous blasts. The eruption began with deep, low-frequency rumblings felt across the Catania region before a series of lava fountains exploded from the southeastern crater, shooting magma over 1,000 feet into the air. Streets are buried in ash. Schools are shut. Citizens are in full-blown panic. It sounded like the earth was tearing apart, said one local resident, describing the midnight eruption that rocked entire neighborhoods. Windows shook, car alarms went off, and we could see flames in the sky. Italian civil protection authorities raised the volcano alert level to maximum issuing evacuation advisories for communities near the slopes. Visibility dropped to near zero in some areas due to dense volcanic ash and volcanic lightning. Crackled through the sky as the eruption intensified. 
Catania Airport suspended operations. Volcanologists warn that Etna is not done yet. This is Etna's second major eruption this year, and according to INGV, Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, this new paroxysmal phase could last for days, or even weeks. While Etna and Yellowstone are geologically unrelated, their simultaneous awakenings are a grim reminder that Earth's crust is alive, 